Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Despina and in today's video I wanted to talk through how I took the strap off my Louis Vuitton handbag. Um, so the bag in question, um, as you could have probably seen by the title, is my Merced Tango. So this is actually a discontinued handbag and it originally came with a short shoulder strap um, in the Vachetta leather and also it had these sort of square d-rings um where the strap was attached to so i was contemplating for a while whether or not i should just do it and i decided to and after i cut it off i realized i should have probably filmed it but i just wanted to talk through the process with you guys here in case anybody else is interested in doing something similar so this is what the straps look like now so they've been completely cut off and basically all i did was cut along the seam here with a knife and very very gently because i wanted to keep these so now that they've been completely cut off, you can see this is where they were connected um, to the rings. And I've also gone ahead and I've bought clasps. So here is a clasp and all that you have to do is pop it on here and get it sewn back together. That way I can actually still use the original strap as a shoulder bag when I want to, but it's also now removable. So I'm going to take that to like a cobbler shoe repair place and see if they can stitch it back together for me. What I also did though, was I, I broke off the D rings that were already on this bag. Um, because it was square, when I put the crossbody strap, it just didn't sit centered and it kept like sliding back and forth because it was flat along the top. So with the help of my dad, I actually broke the metal off and I was so paranoid that he was going to damage the canvas or the leather here in the process but luckily he was able to do it and he literally grabbed like clamps and like broke it off um, because I didn't want to have to like pull apart this leather in order to get it out so I sacrificed the um the actual d-rings in order to like keep it the way i wanted and i bought these d-rings instead these are from kd australia they are for her speedy 25 um so basically they are um 20 millimeters and they fit perfectly they're the ones that actually screw in so you get the d-rings and you also get this little screwdriver so you just feed it through the hole and then you screw it in um, I think a lot of people um, have been doing this with like their cosmetic pouches. They've been using these sort of D-rings to like slide it in so that they can convert it into like a crossbody bag. So yeah, so this is the end result and I'm so, so happy with this. Um, and I wanted to show you like sort of how this looks with a few different types of straps. So the first one that I'm going to show you is... The one that I had first bought to wear with it um, and it is this Louis Vuitton adjustable monogram strap. Um, so this currently sells on the website um, for, I bought it for $450 in Australia. And I think this is actually the same strap that comes with their pochette Matisse. So this definitely gives me pochette Matisse vibes. So you can see it here. I think it looks great. So I'm gonna show you how it looks on me. So this is how it looks. Let me just flick my hair back. So this is how it looks. I think it looks perfect. Um, and it really does sort of give me like that pochette Matisse vibe, but it's not so chunky. There was always something about the pochette Matisse that I just couldn't get on board with. I don't know why, um, but I love that this doesn't have the vachetta or you know the hardware here. So it's a lot more carefree, which I love. Um, and I've also got a couple other options which are not from Louis Vuitton. So a few more affordable options. So the next one is this black crossbody and if you have a black crossbody you can definitely just use your own i bought this one from katie australia because i just really find them really soft and nice and and the hardware is just so like comparable to the louis vuitton so 
I want to show you how this looks and I've been loving the um, like monogram and black leather that Louis Vuitton's been doing recently anyway. So this definitely gives me like that look, which I'm really happy about, but I didn't have to go out and buy a whole new handbag to achieve that look. So this is another great option. And this one I really like as well. Um, it sort of reminds me of like the Louis Vuitton um, Odeon bag. So this is great because I had my eye on that, but it's really pricey and I feel like I definitely get that same sort of look um, with this and uh, yeah, so love it with the black as well. The last way I wanted to show you is with these canvas straps. So these are sort of um, like the multiple shet kind of straps. So these are it here. So these I actually bought off Wish. Um, and I didn't realize this at the time, but they come with these little like Louis Vuitton imitation coin purses. Um, so clearly this is not Louis Vuitton, but I actually love it with this. Um, so much so that I'm kind of been looking on the pre-love market for the actual coin purse um, from the multiple share because on Facebook and that I do see people sort of like sell all the items individually. Um, so yeah, this looks really cute. I wanted to show you how it looks. So let me just take off this black leather and I'll show you how it looks with the, with the canvas. So if you already have um, like the multiple shirt and you have a bag similar to the Masset Tango that you are considering like, you know, removing the strap, this is also a really cool option. So this is how it looks. I just think this is like so cool. Um, so this is how it looks. Obviously, this is not real, but yeah, I think this is like such a cool idea. So yeah, so let's just take this off because I don't usually wear this out and about. I just don't feel like super comfortable. But just with this strap, I think it looks awesome. And then you also have like the green as well, which looks really nice with the monogram. So yeah, so that is my Masset Tango turned shoulder strap to crossbody. And I'm so happy I did this. And I just wanted to jump on here and talk about it in case any of you have been on the fence, whether or not you should cut the strap off your bags. Um, I'm not condoning it. I'm not like, I don't wanna give you the wrong advice, but personally, I'm really glad I did it. Like, I can't take the smile off. It's just exactly what I thought it was going to look like. And it's kind of like scratch that itch of like a new monogram crossbody um, that I wanted to add to my collection. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy this video and um, check out the rest of my channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.